Hi, my name is Charlie and I work at Forterra. I help coordinate the Trees for Seattle Tree Ambassador Program. And I am about to go on a walk around my block in this beautiful weather. If you join me, I'll show you some of the cool trees that grow in my neighborhood. Let's go. The trees I'm exploring today are part of the South Ballard Neighborhood Tree Walk. This is my one of my favorite trees here in the city of Seattle. This is the Deodar Cedar or Cedrus Deodara. Deodar Cedar are native to the Himalayas and many consider them sacred trees. And why wouldn't they be? With those wide, beautiful, graceful branches and its pyramidal shape, it's also great habitat for urban wildlife. The name Deodar derives from Sanskrit and roughly translates to timber of the gods. Deodar cedar grow extremely well here in Seattle and can get up to 250 feet. I'm glad that this one was planted where it had room to grow and not under a power line. Trees for Seattle is dedicated to growing and maintaining healthy trees. Urban trees are a vital part of strong communities. Behind me, this beautiful silver blue tree is the Colorado spruce, also known as the blue spruce, Picea pungens. This tree is considered one of the most popular landscape evergreens in the country because of its silver blue color. They're native to the Rocky Mountains and their Latin species name, Picea pungens, comes from the pungent smell that the crushed needles have. Like all evergreens, this Colorado spruce helps to reduce the load on our urban stormwater infrastructure by slowing down the rain that lands on its canopy during storm events. As much as half of the water that falls on a tree like this will actually land on the ground. Cool. Seattle's urban forest depends on you. Two thirds of Seattle's trees are planted around homes and maintained by residents. Working together, we can have an urban forest that is healthy and growing. This tree growing in a traffic circle behind me is Washington's only native oak the Gary Oak, also known as the Oregon White Oak, Quercus Gariana. This is a great drought tolerant tree that grows fairly slowly. Gary Oaks in this region are extremely connected to people. They depend on human caused fires for their native habitat of open prairies. Due to shifts in land management since European colonization, their habitats are shrinking. Having a wide growing tree like this within the city street helps to reduce the heat island effect in our hardscape cities. Trees like this not only cast shadows on the ground when they are fully leafed out, but as water transpires and evaporates from the leaves, it cools the air like mini air conditioners. Let's go around the corner to take a look at the next two trees. I'm standing here in the dappled shade of two commonly found birch trees here in the city of Seattle. Here we have our native paper bark birch and our European birch. As its name suggests, the European birch is native to Europe. And the paper bark birch is native to Washington and is typically found north of Everett. You can tell the difference between the two of them by their bark. The European has dark triangles and the paper bark looks like there's paper peeling from it. In the summertime, trees like this provide a nice dappled shadow, which is super pleasant for pedestrians like me today. But this dappled shadow also naturally slows down traffic, which is ideal for a residential street like this one. As I head back home, I'm grateful for all the beautiful trees within a stone's throw of my house and throughout the rest of the city. Well, thanks for joining me on my tour around my block. I hope you learned some new things about the incredible trees growing in our city. The trees I showed you today are part of one of the city of Seattle's many neighborhood tree walks compiled by volunteer tree ambassadors. The city is rolling out their new tree walks app where you can find this and many other neighborhood walks around the city. Download it now and explore the trees growing in your neighborhood. The website is www.seattle.gov trees. Get out there and enjoy the trees in your block.